shoot, do you guys remember last episode? <laughs> love how I'm literally recording this right after I just ended that. Uh, but, like, really, though, like, holy crap, that was a lot of stuff. Hopefully YouTube doesn't be like, yo, man, you, uh, you can't be showing that. Look, I, when I heard that there was going to be nudity in this game, it made me realize something. Anytime I start a new series now, I need to start a few things now. I need to start... Warning discretion is advised. Some content may not be suitable for kids, so that's why that there's a lot in here. And I just put the story in there. No extra content. I'm thinking of doing that for other videos uh, as soon as we start a new series, so keep that in mind. And anyways, let's get back into the game. Uh, D. Pareto didn't come into work today. <laughs> I'm too tired, I can't... Uh, uh, yes, you can take the day off. Uh, no, you can't. Uh, while well, I was talking, I accidentally got into some poisonous. As my feet were blistered, it doesn't look like anything serious, but I like to see the doctor. Yes, but come tomorrow. All right, start of the day, everybody. All right, let's uh, check out this new CD that I bought. Dirt cheap, <laughs> dirt cheap. Oh my gosh, man. This game is getting really good. It's like a cop show and everything. Serial murder, eh? So I need detectives, eh? Hold on. Investigators? Who's working today? You're not? Detectives? You're not working today. Alright, well, taking you, taking you. Proceed. From a complaint, the labor, he's being informed that a employee complained against you and passed on. From a complaint. Please inform that the employee complaint against you has been passed along to the prosecutor for further investigation. Gosh darn- What noise complaint? I'm just listening to the music here, man! Assault residential area. Uh, obese man found himself stuck in an elevator, but when people attempted to help him out, he lashed out and began to strangle one of them. This is the third time I'm late to work, and it's all because of this <laughs> elevator. Sounds like a job for Percy! <laughs> Alright. Bullcrap Squad for B Shift. Percy's on it. I'm making Percy a good cop, surprisingly. <laughs> uh, serial and found. Open investigation. Wh what? Dev Armstrong fell into a violent trap set by the. Declared dead on the scene. Are you kidding me? Right after the newest death of the detective, I'm showing the guys had a quick word and we decided we can't keep going on this own team without a SWAT support. So, Jack, I suppose you don't like the dentist. Uh, from the dentist. I think they have any more than I do, but let's just say they're. That's who I am. And get down to business. Take a good look at this postcard I sent you. Points to a place where I hit something. Follow the clues and keep on the trail. I'll just say there's a reason I'm giving you a chance to catch me. But don't dare share this clue with the feds. On the trail with no, uh, will go cold. I promise you, in a hurry. If I don't figure out the right place in the next 24 hours, I'll destroy all of them and walk away. Alright, fine, keep the clue. Right. Flip. Jack, I expect you don't like the dentist. But this literally does have something for me. Evidence. Forms. So, um, Chief, you got yourself in a dangerous game and you can't win without evidence on the dentist. You hold in your hand a key to what happened to the victims. Look closely at the image on the card. We'll help you figure out where the evidence is hidden. Send your detectives, but don't go around blindly guessing. I doubt you have the resources to go to all the possible places. This is my first radio. Proceed. Okay. Uh, attempted murder first. 
Not only reports that he saw an angry man through the window attacking someone's car with a baseball bat. Lane, get out, you painted orange. No, okay. Okay, so shoot. Um Investigation. This is a personal investigation, right? It has to do with the cathedral, I'm guessing, right? Pizza. Pizza and God. Okay. So what's this? A serial murder. The dentist may have been hidden evidence about the of the old. What's this over here? Sliced pizza. Double olive pizza. Holy house. I think it's holy house. Alright, well, investigations. I'm gonna have to take you off the case. I'm sorry, but we need to find this guy. So, holy house pizza. I'm gonna guess. Sending SWAT. Alright. So, boy, my. For just for all. Failed and I was let go, but I'm getting ready to launch a new TV show project. The time's harsh, everybody. <sighs> Report on the assault. Good. Good, good. Good! Ah, didn't murder. Good. Arson. People who died in a blaze and... Can't do anything about it. Need more detectives. Jack, Officer Fred somehow learned about the postcard from the dentist and he's up in your arms that you've been suppressing evidence. He demanded that I take action immediately or he's taking this directly to the prosecutor's office. Convince him to sit for a couple more days, but we have some... We have to do something fast. Free... Frazzer? Oh my god, her? Serial port. Sorry, it's about a hitting. Open investigation. I don't I don't know what this does. <laughs> I don't know what this means. For yeah, sure. Cool. All right, deputy. By names, find out which point finds to testify against you by sounds. Why can I not buy that? All right. I'm gonna have to send him in. I'm gonna have to order a new detective in three days. All right, theft and. Bank. Bank employee reports the man came into the bank. He's obviously trying to uh, form cash. The cash also says the man is hiding something under his jacket. All right, all right. Send those guys in. What is this? Uh, Michael Gibson was only away from his wife for ten minutes. He so managed to steal a bag of Carfield. All right. Yep. Send these guys in. Alright, deputy, I want to buy silence. <laughs> Not to testify you. How the heck am I going to do... The reason why I did it is... I should have... Oh, God, I hate this game now. Investigation has started. I don't care. I'll look at it later until I get some slides. Looks like we have a... Uh, Fortune Bank that's supposed to be sitting in the chair, obviously very nervous. He grows very. He sees the police and starts banging his foot on the floor. I write your gun and slowly approaches boat. Man suddenly jumps up and grabs the woman standing next to him and putting a huge knife to her throat. He knows the police are he there for him. Go to the man and get out of here. We're not here for you, my friend. You're going to find yourself into a body bag. You better release that hostage. I know it's not your fault. Like, 
Let's just go down to the station and talk about this. Yes! Oh my gosh. The market. Across the market, there's an elderly couple rolling in a big blue car filled with fruit that looks like watermelons. A nightclub and twist the woman's arm to behind her back and throw her to the ground and continue the search for criminals. Around the farm's market, there are three carts. One of them is orange, filled with watermelons. Three women are carrying something over to the small truck. Arrest the woman. Watch until someone goes to the orange cart. Nice. Okay. What's this? Oh, God. Wait. Tr trespassing. Where is that? No, that's the 20. Okay, fine. Just wait for more cops to get here. And then I'll send everybody here. But I'm really mad at her because I don't know why she's getting all pissy. Alright. Oh, where's Percy? Oh, is Percy in the other one? Oh, I guess so. Oh yeah, they just got here too. Oh well. Yeah, I don't know what to do with her. Crap. Why did I do that? Hold on. Give me a second. Alright, what's up? What's up, trespassing? Runner's caught, cool. Armed robbery, yep, didn't think so. Double homicide, actually, yeah, open this up. It was definitely a credit card. How do any of these help? Oh, shoot, hold on. This goes a bit different now, huh? Obviously, cash. Okay. We're missing one piece of the puzzle. Arson. Yeah, well, alright, let's look at that stuff. Uh, Michael Ayers nurse. I was I was about to go home when okay, hold on, what's the situation? Three people died in the blaze that okay. Okay. I was about to go home when the building suddenly lost power and it got really quiet then I heard a muffled noise like a little clap from just down the street the building had about 10 employees I didn't notice the smoke at first and when I saw the fire I began to yell but it was too late some people just didn't make it out oh my gosh at the time of the tragedy I should have already been home I was just leaving and I ran into Ren, uh, 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 Ronald Sherman on the street uh, he He's the ex-husband of one of our patients who decided not to have her children after she consulted with the Freeburg Birth Control Union. After the Mr. Sherman opened the corner with his wife, I understood he f beat her, and later they divorced since then. He comes to our uh, offices several times, and on the evening of the fire, he was standing across the road. In a large backpack, he made a point of walking past me, and he... Mm, muttered something in the spirit of burn and I thought how close I already was to if people could wear sweaters we'll start with a small plastic uh okay so this isn't the guy we're looking for we're looking for like you know red sweater 
And that should be the end of the day. Yep. End of the day. Yep. Claire dead. We need a new detective now. So I went downstairs figuring I'd find some mercenary or an escaped serial killer or some other low life I'd put away, right? But when I hit the lights, I saw a young kid. Couldn't have been 20. Skinny and dirty. Didn't even have a real weapon, just a rusty shiv. He just stood there. Didn't say anything. My whole career, I've been staring down the most dangerous people in the country, and the only one to get into my house and scare my family to death was just some kid about to crap his pants. And I pointed my gun at him, and he just stood there with his mouth open. Bad luck for him. He was pretty lucky to still be alive. And you know what? It was you that saved him. I think you have me confused with somebody else, Ethan. No, 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 no. Listen. All these years, me and Marla joked about how dangerous my job is. We figured that sooner or later someone would sneak into our house and cut us to pieces, yeah? Pretty dark jokes, but innocent enough. And Marla asks me not to jump into gunfights when she kisses me on the cheek before I leave for work. It's like we figured that if we joke about stuff like that, then it'll never actually happen. But, um... While I trained my gun at the kid's nose, I finally realized someone really can get into our house. Someone really can cut us to pieces. Now that it finally happened, I can't make any more jokes like that. Marla won't laugh anymore. She'll burst into tears and stay in bed all day crying, hating me more and more every second. So I figured the only way out of the situation was to show her that if someone really does dare to break into our house... He's guaranteed to get a bullet in the face. He'll die right there on the living room carpet. God, Ethan, didn't know you were so bloodthirsty. I'm telling you, Jack, I was serious about shooting this kid right there where he stood. I was about to pull the trigger. But then I remembered you. Remembered a uh, <laughs> thousand years ago we went to the lake and had some beers after an ethics lecture at the academy. I was all angry with that uh, professor, uh, Laszlo, yeah. Remember what he always told us? Being a good policeman is very simple. You just need to keep doing the right thing. I hated those pretentious speeches. I cussed Laszlo up and down and said, If you always do what's right, you've turned yourself into a robot. And you just sat there, drunk eyes staring into the distance. And you were all calm and said, No, Ethan, it's the other way around. To do the right thing takes everything you got as a human. <laughs> I said that. Oh, what an idiot I was. Come on, Jack. It's not funny. When things get bad, it's those moments you gotta be hopeful and, and stay human. And I did just like you said. I stayed human. And then I slapped the cuffs on the kid in one quick move. Just like Bobby Flash. Bobby Flash? What? You don't remember Evening Freeberg, the old news column? Stories about the cop hero Bobby Flash? I heard they even published a book a few years ago. Oh, that Bobby Flash. Yeah, that Bobby Flash. How can you not remember Bobby Flash? We all argued at junior high about which one of us would be Bobby Flash when he grows up. <laughs> oh, I'm no Bobby Flash. A hero cop would never think about shooting a terrified teenager. But wait a minute. If I'm not Bobby Flash, then maybe you are. Yeah, maybe so. Can we skip this, please? This is making me uncomfortable. Oh, thank God. Day 67, September 19th. We're probably going to cut the video here, too. City Hall intern found dead in apartment. Freeburg housing construction. Affordable. 21-year-old uh, bill victim brutally murdered. Mafia. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Oh, well, thank, thanks, game. Thanks for telling me that. 